Welcome back to another episode. So today is going to be a plugin face off. And the two plugins that I'm going to be comparing is WP Sweep and WP Optimize. They are both plugins that I did individual videos on. Uh, but today I want to see how they compare against each other and which one comes out the winner of this little battle. On the left hand side we have WP Sweep. It allows you to clean up unused, often, and duplicated data in WordPress. It also optimizes your database tables. So this is the stuff that it does. Revisions, auto drafts, and the rest of the stuff listed down here. You keep on going down, you get some more information. And as you see, recently updated, active on over 20,000 plus active installations, and amazing reviews. The developer for this plugin is Lester Chan. All right, so that's WP Sweep. And on the right hand side, we have WP Optimize. So this one is a simple but effective plugin that allows you to extensively clean up your WordPress database and optimize it without doing manual queries. All right, so this gives you some more information when you scroll down. This is some of the major features that it highlights, gives you some information on some warnings. And this also is a very popular plugin with over 500,000 active installations, last updated two months ago. And as you see, a lot of popular, a lot of high star ratings here as well. And this is the developer right here, uh, Ruhani Rabin. All right, so what I did for this little battle is I downloaded a fresh copy of WordPress and I created two local installations, one dedicated for WP Sweep you see right now I'm in that database for here on the left hand side and there are no tables because we haven't created that yet and I did the same thing for WP Optimize all right so no tables here no tables here so when I navigate to those two locations I'm getting ready to get set up so I'm going to set this up so on this side it is WP Sweep all right submit that one I set this one up as WP Optimize. Submit that one. We're going to run the installations. Make this stuff very easy. Over here, we're going to log in and log in. Let's get the show on the road. Demo. And my very difficult password there. All right, so this is a fresh installation of WordPress. The only thing I did for both of these is I already deleted two plugins that come by default with WordPress just to clean it up a little bit and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add on the left hand side WP sweep install and then on the right hand side I'm going to add WP optimize install I'll activate the left hand side and then I'll activate the right hand side all right, so now what we need to do is import some data, right? We need something to test this out with. But first, let's go to our databases and let's see some information here. We're going to refresh both of these, give us some more screen real estate. All right, so we see now that on the left-hand side for WP Sweep, we have the overall size is 2.1, overall size 2.1. We see, let me make this a little bit larger. And then on the left hand side for WP Sweep, we have on the option side 130 rows there, 139 there. So we're just comparing some information, nothing major here at this point. Total rows 165 for the WP Optimize, and then 156 for the WP Sweep, nothing major. All right, so we're going to go back websites here, local websites. But what we're going to do is we're going to import some test data. So we're going to install the WordPress importer and then we're going to run the plugin, run the importer there and then run the importer there. And then we're going to import the Steam unit test data. Open. Do the same thing here. Upload file. Upload file and import. So here we're going to put it to our standard info. Once they're both done importing, what I want to do now is go back to our databases and gather some new information here. So we're just going to refresh th these pages. All right, so now you see that the information has gone up. 
pretty much equally on each side. And on the left hand side and right hand side we both have 2.3 MIB. In terms of rows, the rows are in terms of the increase in the amount of rows have done so similarly on both sides. Just a slight decrease on the WP sweep side because there was less options um, for that in the beginning. You see 133, 142. But everything else in terms of the post meta, the WP post table, and the other areas are exactly the same. You have one for the users, user meta is 17, taxonomy 189, 294, 189, 0, 100, 390. It's just the WP options table that's a little bit different, and that's because each plugin is a little bit different in how it handles that. All right, so now we see that's there. All right, so now we're going to have to do some stuff. All right, we're going to go to all posts. We're going to view, view, make sure we get some stuff done in here that we can end up seeing some changes. And then we're going to, on this side, update. We'll grab that, so we'll keep it similar on the right-hand side. And then update. I'm just doing some stuff just so we can get some revisions in here. All right, so now let's go to, what else can we do here? Let's go to pages. Do the same thing here, go to pages. We're gonna edit the sample pages. We'll go to the right, then we'll update. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Collapse this, give us more space. Update. Okay, let's look at our database now. Let's see if anything's changed. We're gonna refresh these. Okay, so in the post matter, we do have some changes. WP post, we have some changes. That went from 100 to 102, and then from 390 to 394. All right, so we have some data changes here. So now, let's see what happens when we go to optimize these. All right, so we're gonna go to tools. We'll go to sweep, the WP optimize option. And we're gonna take a look at the data that it tells us we have. Let's collapse these. All right, so on the left-hand side, since there are a total of 102 posts and 394 post meta, revisions, auto drafts, no deleted post, duplicate post meta, this is the information it's given you that you can optimize. You can choose which sections you want to optimize. You see up here is for the post sweep, this is for the common sweep, there's the user sweep, term sweep, option sweep, database sweep, or you can just sweep all. Now on the right hand side, for WP Optimize, we have, it shows that we have uh, two post revisions. Does it show that here as well? Yes, it does. And then it says uh, clean auto draft post one, remove spam, there is none. And then it has the transients here, so you can choose to do that as well. And if you have any trackbacks, things of that nature, you can do that. All right, so this is what it's going to clean on the WP Optimize size, side, and this is what it's going to clean on the WP Sweep side. All right, so let's do both of them. We're going to sweep all. But remember, these are the sizes of each database, 2.3 and 2.3. All right, so we'll sweep all here and process here. All right, WP Optimize is done. It removed these items that were there, and WP Sweep is done as well. So now let's go back to our database and let's see what's changed, if anything's changed. Let's refresh this. And refresh this give ourselves some more space on that side and on this side all right so we see on the left hand side for WP sweep we were able to bring it down to 848 KIB and on the WP optimize side we were able to bring it down to 912 KIB and this was removing all the information that was provided to us to remove and we see that WP sweep uh, was able to reduce the size of the database by about a uh, 64 okay I'd be there about 60 64 on that number and we see that uh it's a uh, improvement on the left hand side they're both they're both improved in terms of the database reduction of size from 2.3 to 9 to 912 and then 2.3 to 848 all right so this was a review of both WP Sweep 
and WP Optimize, where we compared both plugins to see which one was going to give us the best results. Mind you, they are both great plugins. They're both um, very popular in the WordPress repository, and they both do a solid job at optimizing the database. Uh, they brought it down from 2.3, a significant reduction of 912 KIB and 848 KIB. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts or comments, leave them down below so I can take a look at that. Again, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.